What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin brusher video for you all today. And in today's video we're gonna be doing a thirty million dollar buy-in. They gave us a hundred quarters. Super super expensive game today. Anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can win the jackpot. My goodness they got this thing loaded up pretty good. Looks like a massive wall of ten thousand dollar chips back there on the pusher. There's two $25,000 chips in there today also. And there's two walls of $5,000 chips on the blue shelves. They got a ginormous tower of quarters out right there in the center. Kind of looks like a diamond shape, something like that. There's all kinds of gold towers. And I can see eight white dice in there today. So if we can win them white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. So we definitely got the potential to make some big money today, that's for sure. Anyhow, that was the last of our quarters, so let me go see what I've won real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So unfortunately, we only got like 25 quarters back on that first round. Well, it's getting super, super risky. I think it's pushing a little bit better now. Come on, big money. Give me something. Nice. We got that tower. $25,000 chips on the right side to go. That is absolutely incredible. But unfortunately, I don't think we got a lot of quarters back. Let me go see what I've won real quick. We'll get right back to pushing. All right, I'm back. So that's all the quarters we got left out of the 100 that we started with. I might end up having to do another buy-in, I'm not sure. That'll make $60 million. Don't really want to do a $60 million buy-in today. That'd be super, super risky. Well, that was the last of our quarters once again. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So we only got four quarters left. This is super, super risky. Let's try them over there on the left side. Come on, big money. Give me something. Oh, no. Well, we just lost $30 million right there. See, this is the reality of playing the high limit coin pressure. I don't always win. My goodness. Do you think it'll be worth it to do another $30 million buy-in? I don't know. I think there's enough in there. I can see eight dice and all those $25,000 chips, $10,000 chips, $5,000 chips. Yeah, let's go do that other $30 million buy-in. I'll be right back. All right, AMV Coin Busher has returned. Let's keep it going. So I did that other $30 million buy-in. They gave us another 100 quarters. So we got $60 million invested into today's game. Oh my goodness, nice, look at that. Wow, that was definitely the world's biggest avalanche right there. I've never seen anything like that before. Wow, that was absolutely incredible. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that. That was awesome. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that before. Wow. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters. So let me go see what we've won real quick. And we'll get right back to pushing. All right, I'm back. So check this out. There was a red mystery bag hidden in there and we got a dice so far. That is absolutely incredible. And we also made a tremendous amount of money in gold on that last round. And got about 2,000 quarters now. We can't even fit all those quarters in the bowl. I think the maximum amount of quarters I could fit in the bowl is like 1,000, maybe 1,100 if we're lucky. Anyhow, the rest of the quarters are just laying there on the ground. Hey, at least we got them if we need them though. Oh yeah, that was a massive push right there. Look at all those $10,000 chips on that left side. That's definitely going to be a waterfall. 
Oh yeah, that was a huge push right there. About to get all that right through there. Come on, bring me the money. Nice, we got it. Got a bunch of money right there. Making a fortune today, that's for sure. Nice, we got that tower thousand dollar chips that was on the left. We're winning tons of twenty-five thousand dollar chips also. So anyhow, I hope everybody's doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. But help out a lot. We're on the road to 115,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 1st of June, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get 5,000 likes on today's video. 5,000 likes. I know we can do that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. And also, it is 100% free to like, comment, and subscribe. So, I don't get paid for y'all subscribing or anything. It really just makes it a lot easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you turn on that bell icon, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, computer, whatever you watch my videos on. You will get notifications whenever I post a new video. So it really just makes it a million percent easier for you all to keep up with the future content. So help me out, let's get to 115,000 subscribers. Well we're almost out of quarters, we got less than 10 of them left, there they are. So let me go see what I've won real quick, we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, Andy Coinbusher has returned, let's keep it pushing. So we made a tremendous amount of money on that last round. And we got a truckload of gold and a boatload of quarters. This is pushing really, really well today. Anyhow, let's keep it going. Let's try to play across the whole field. Try to get these towers on the right-hand side to get going. Well, we just about got that left-hand side all cleared out. Have to get a gold bar, a couple thousand dollar chips. Nice, we just got the gold bar. So the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $2,000 a piece. So that's some pretty good money right there. And I'm hoping there's some gold dice hidden inside that mystery bag. We win the gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by that number. So yeah, I will probably try like maybe another bowl of quarters after this one and try to get them towers on the right side and if they don't fall down i will go ahead and open up that red mystery bag that we've won and also if you're wondering about those towers that are on the blue shelves there's three ways we could win those the first way we could sack the quarters up real high back there on the pusher and if there's any towers nice we just got that tower on the right corner that is awesome sauce right there. Anyway, if any of those towers on the blue shelves are hanging over, like onto the pusher there, if we stack the quarters up real high, we have a good chance of trick shotting the towers into the play field. And as you can see, none of the towers are like hanging over that blue shelf, so that probably wouldn't work out today. Anyhow, the second way we could win them towers is if they have a $5 chip hidden in there. And if we win that $5 chip, we get to cash it in. They will move all them towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field for free. And the third way we could win those towers is if we pay five times the original buy-in. And they would move all them towers to the play field. And I don't think it would be worth it to pay five times the original buy-in. So if that $5 chip is not in there today, I guess we're just gonna have to leave them towers in there. But most of the time that $5 chip is in there. 
It's normally hidden inside the mystery bags. Well, we're almost out of quarters. We got about 20 of them left. Well, we got one of them thousand dollar chip towers on the right, and we completely cleared off that left hand side. So that is amazing. We just need those two towers to get going. Anyhow, let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So, let's try one more bowl of quarters, see if we can't get those other two towers that are on the right corner to go. Yeah, I remember this one time there was this massive tower of $10,000 chips on that right corner. Kind of looked like that $1,000 chip tower out there, except it was a little bit taller. Guess how long it took to knock down? Over seven and a half hours. It took over seven and a half hours to knock down that tower. Let's just hope that's not the case today though. Let's just hope we can knock down those towers within the next couple of minutes. Come on, big push, give me something. Yeah, them towers on the right, they're being pretty stubborn right now. I think our best bet is to push on that far right side. Oh, nice. Did you see that? They just moved forward a little bit right there. Oh, yeah, they just moved a bunch. Come on, big money. Oh, yeah, they're moving pretty good now. Y'all think I'll be able to win them towers before I run out of quarters? Because like I said a second ago, after we run out of quarters, I will go ahead and open up that mystery bag. See if that $5 chip is in there. And also, if you don't know this, anything that falls down those side slots, that money goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. I only get a win and keep whatever falls off the front ledge there. Well, sometimes they have a $50 chip hidden in there. And if we win that $50 chip, we get to cash it in. And they will take anything that we've lost to the side slots and put it back into the play field. So let's just hope that that $50 chip is hidden in there somewhere today. Because I've seen quite a bit of money fall down those so far. And I think we're missing the dice because there was eight dice in there. We've only won two so far. So yeah, we're definitely missing a dice. It probably fell down the side slot. Either that or the loot chute got too full. And that's another thing. If that loot chute gets too full, money starts to fall back to the house. There's like a little opening above the loot chute and if the loot chute gets too full, money starts to fall back inside the machine. So we gotta be careful. Watch out for that. Try not to let the loot chute get piled up. Anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go ahead and open up that red mystery bag. Alright, here it is. Let's open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Feels pretty heavy. Let's see, what'd we get? Oh my goodness, nice. Check that out. So we got the $50 chip. Like I said earlier, we get to cash that in. They will take anything that we've lost to the side slots and put it back into the play field. I don't get to pick where they move the chips that we lost, but... All I know is they'll put them in there somewhere. And we also got this $5 chip. Like I said earlier, we get to cash this in. They will move all them towers that are on the blue shelves of the play field. And check this out. We got four more white dice. So the white dice multiplier winnings. And we got two of the gold dice. So those multiplier gold by whatever they land on. That is absolutely remarkable. That mystery bag was loaded up extremely well. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cash in this $5 chip, have them move all them towers that are on the blue shelves of the play field. They may move those two towers right there. I'm not sure. Anyhow, let me go ahead and cash this in, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They moved all those towers that was on the blue shelves of the play field. And those towers that was on the right side, they just combined those in there with the rest of them. Looks like they built an enormous wall of gold back there on the pressure. Nice, we're already getting it to crash down. 
And all those dice that are right there in the center, those are in the really good spots. Nice, we got a bunch of towers to go, but unfortunately that loot chute's piled up. Let me get it cleared out real quick. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So we got that loot chute cleared out. Now let's try to knock down those two $5,000 chip towers back there on the pressure. Oh yeah, they're about to go. Nice, we got it. Wow, this is pushing incredibly well today. Nice, look at all those $5,000 chips we're winning. Gold bars. I think we just got a dice a second ago. That is absolutely spectacular. Oh yeah, that was a massive avalanche right there. Let's get that loot chute cleared out again. It's already getting pretty full. All right, we got that loot chute cleared out. Let's keep it pushing. And if you're wondering why they did not move those chips that are against the walls to the play field, whenever I cashed in that $5 chip, it's because those are for decoration only. The only way we could win those is if we trick shot them into the play field using the quarters. And if you've seen previous videos, y'all will know that that is extremely difficult to do. We've only been able to do it a couple of times. And if we were to trick shot those chips in the play field and win those, they would count those as a win, whatever the cash value of the chip is. But on the other hand, if we were to trick shot those tiny dice that are on top of those chips into the play field and win those, I would have to give those back to them because those aren't the dice that we get to roll at the end of the game. Those have no value at all. So anyhow, that was the last of our quarters. So let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to the push and right on back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's get those remaining chips and gold out of there. And after that, I will cash in that $50 chip and they will take anything that we've lost to the side slots, put it back into the play field. Oh yeah, about to get those two ounces of gold on the right hand side. Come on, big money. Nice, there they go. It's a little over $4,000 right there. Nice, we just got 15 grand in $5,000 chips also. That is amazing. So now let's move over to this left hand side and try to get all that money and gold out of there. Done got the right side all cleared out. Oh yeah, that was a good push right there. Come on, big money. Yeah, that gold bar on the corner, it's getting pretty close. So I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only post the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past. Y'all didn't seem to like those too well. Plus, I try to keep the channel as positive as possible. So that's why I only stick to posting the winning games. But anyhow, I'll probably win one out of every three or four games I play. So I definitely don't win as much as it seems. I know it seems like I'm winning hundreds up on hundreds of millions of dollars every single day. But trust me, that's not the reality of the situation. I mean, I might make a hundred million dollars profit off of this game right here. But the next game I play, I could lose that hundred million dollars within a matter of seconds. This game right here is a good example you can remember at the start of the video, that first $30 million buy-in, I lost all 100 of those quarters. I think in like two or three minutes. So that was $30 million going right there. Yeah, and there's lots of times I'll do buy-in after buy-in after buy-in, and I won't win anything back at all. And like I've said before, there's been times I've lost close to $200 million playing these games. So I definitely make it look a lot easier than it actually is. This is really, really difficult sometimes. Sometimes the powers don't even move at all. 
Well, anyhow, that was the last of our quarters. Let me go collect the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So let's keep on pushing on that left-hand side. Try to get those last three gold bars out of there. Nice, just got one of them. Two more to go. Let's get them. Yeah, I think the other day... I was playing for over 30 minutes trying to win a remaining gold bar out of there. So let's just hope that those two gold bars fall down within the next couple of minutes. And there's also been times I've played for two or three hours trying to win a remaining chip out of there. I mean, I guess it's worth it once you get it all cleared out of there, but my goodness, it takes a long time sometimes oh my goodness look at that I was just about to put a $5,000 chip back in there thank goodness I caught that well even if I would have put that back in there they would have took it out because they would check the security cameras and once they seen that I accidentally put it back in there they would have gave it back to me yeah, there's about six or seven security cameras surrounding the place that I'm playing at. And there's also a camera inside this machine. It records audio and, like, video. So it's pretty much impossible to cheat on one of these things and get away with it. Yeah, and there's been a couple times I've been playing and... I, think, I remember this one time, this guy, he kicked the machine or something whenever I walked away from it, and it knocked down the tower, then they stopped me from playing it. I'm pretty sure that video was called, The World's Biggest Poker Chip Tower Inside the Coin Pusher. So, check that out, just uh, go to my older videos and you'll probably see it. Yeah, but anyhow, that guy, he kicked the machine, and I wasn't allowed to play anymore. I didn't think that was fair, but it is what it is. So anyhow, that was the last of our quarters. Let me collect some quarters real quick, and we'll try to get those remaining gold bars out of there. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. Let's try to push on that left corner. I think that's our best bet. Oh yeah, those gold bars are about to go. Come on, big win. Come on. Yeah, they're super, super close. Any second now. Goodness gracious, those gold bars are being a little bit stubborn today. Look at that, they're almost defying gravity. Alright, that's a win right there. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely spectacular. So now, I'm going to call them back here and cash in this $50 chip. They will take anything that we've lost to them side slots and put it back into the play field. So let me cash this in real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took all those chips and gold that we lost put them back into the play field. Looks like we lost a dice also. I knew there was one that went missing. Anyhow, I asked them to count up how many or how much money in chips that we lost. They said we lost 260 grand. Well, I think we just got that dice right there. That's amazing. And we got that gold bar. So I think we've won, let's see, 12 white dice in total. I don't know for sure. Um, that's just what I'm thinking. So. Say if all 12 of those dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by 30. 30 times 260 grand. That's what we'd have missed out on today if that $50 chip wasn't in there. So thank goodness for that $50 chip. And remember, we still got to win $60 million back today. We did two $30 million buy-ins. But anyhow, I still think there's enough money in there and dice to make that back easily. And unfortunately, I've been on a losing streak all day long today. 
this makes the fourth game I've played, and I've lost all three of those games. So I think we're down close to 78 million dollars. Maybe a little bit more than that, actually. Probably close to 80 million. So we need to at least make 80 million dollars profit off of this game to break even. Anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely brilliant. This has been an outstanding game today. So anyhow, I'm going to call them back here. I think we won 14 dice in total. We got 12 white dice and 2 gold dice. They will put all 14 of them dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by that amount. So let me call them back here real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 14 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some nice numbers. Well, we got a 5 and a... Well, that dice is about to go. Let's see what it's going to land on. Oh my goodness. Well, all those are pretty good numbers for the most part. I think we got three ones, so the ones do not count. We went on everything from 2 to 6. Because those ones, it would be multiplying my winnings by one. And that would just be a zero. Well, that last dice landed on a two. So that's not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $60 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning $9,547,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 38, and in total, I ended up winning $362,786,000 from a $60 million buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing profit right there. Absolutely exceptional. And on top of that, we won 202 ounces of gold. And both of those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 7. And in total, I ended up winning 1,414 ounces of gold today. And those are around $2,000 a piece. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $60 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.